John, today we're at Tewkesbury again, the Quick Grind Technology Centre, and we're stood in front of the Quasar, quite a workhorse this machine. You know, it's a nice demo, hard material. What's the material? Yeah, it's a H13 hardened to around about 50 Rockwell. Okay, now tell us about the demo in general. We've got a number of tools on here, some tools being quite aggressive and, and, and some finishing tools as well. Yeah, we've got a nice range of tools actually on this component. We've got uh, a new range of Mirage tools, which we call the Mirage Super, which is uh, an upgrade from the Mirage standard tool that we have already. Uh, we have the Bulldog tool, which works in nearly any steel that you can imagine. And we have Reaper tools, Gladiators, and multi fluid Demons, and our new range of uh, Jaguar drills for H13 material. Okay, so if we start with the first tool, you know, what, you know, what, what is it, what's it doing? Well, the first one we've got is a seven fluted 16 mil Mirage Super. And the reason we've gone for the seven flute is the metal removal rate you can get over the five flute is virtually double. We will tend to run a five flute uh, and get around about 38, 39 cubic centimetres per minute removal with the seven flute. Even though we're doing a, a less width of cut, we're running a lot faster data. and have actually nearly double the MRR to 70 cubic centimetres per minute. Yeah, that's impressive. And how about the next one? Uh, the next one following that is the Bulldog, which is ideally used in, in a H13 softened steel. Uh, we sell these by the thousands to the dye industry uh, all across the world, and they're fully remanufacturable. People send them back, we remanufacture them, and send them off again. And they are complete workhorse. So probably one of the best tool, steel cutting tools I've ever used in uh, machining. And just on that, remanufacturing, just for the people that don't know, what, what, uh, what's yeah, the difference? Yeah, so we don't just offer a regrinding service at Quick Grind, we offer a full remanufacture, which means as long as you return the tool to us in a, let's say a fair condition, you know, we'd like you to use the tools, but you know, if you smash them to pieces, there's nothing we can do about them, but if you get them back to us in a fair condition, and we have to do a full, re, full remanufacturing, like a full refurb of the tool, it's recut on the geometry, recoated, and just sent back to you then, and. We, you know, we work through any kind of reading that you give us, diameters, lengths, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And if we move on to the third tool in the demonstration. So the third tool, uh, well the third, fourth and fifth are a series of Reaper tools. Mm -hmm. Now these are uh, very small, uh, small neck tools. Uh, we tend to work on diameters from 1mm up to 10mm. We do do 12s on, on, uh, if people require them. Uh, and we have a 10mm which is finishing, we have an 8mm which is roughing and a 6mm which is semi-finishing. And just for the people that don't know of that range, what is that range, you know, and what's it hope to achieve by using them? Oh, the Reapers ideally are using hardened materials. You know, as soon as you start getting above the 45, 46 watt wells, you need to start looking at a little bit extra tooling. Uh, these tools cannot be remanufactured, uh, like a lot of those quick grind tools, but uh, they are extremely effective in working at high feed in hardened materials. And when we look at the swarf on this job, perfect, isn't it, John? It's, uh, it's, it is a really nice demo actually, it's, uh, there's some really nice programming strategies on it as well, so a nice selection of tooling and uh, you know, the part itself looks, looks, looks a, a really nice part, um, it's, a, it's a good demo. And John, for the people that don't know, infinite possibilities, you make drills also? That's right, yes, we've, uh, we've been making micro drills for quite a long time now, uh, they're used again in the dye industry for uh, pre-drilling for wires, spark erosion, that kind of thing. Then we just moved up now and we can offer six or seven different ranges of drills. On this component we're using what's called the Jaguar drill which is designed for H13, soft and hard. Um, and yeah, like you touched on before, infinite possibilities. Most people would say six, eight, ten times D is, would be a standard tool to have. But we like to make you what you want. So if you need an 11 times D or four times D, you know, we, we, that's what we will make you. Diameters to suit, uh, neck lengths to suit through coolant, plane. Just, just give us a call and, uh, and and we'll get back to you with an inquiry. And you haven't just dreamed this up, have you? Like a lot of stuff in engineering, it, it's come from you know customers wanting it, and you've tried them on customers, and you have great success with these drills. Yes, we have. Yeah, uh, we've just done a few uh, few tests with them. Um, we couldn't be running at about 175 VC, I think, 0.3 for two. So you know, we're not hanging around with them. I think we just drilled a, a drilling trial recently with a 10.5 mil drill. Uh, it's done over 775 holes, uh, over 1300 millimetres a minute feed rate, so it's, um, it really is pushing through. So with quick grind, infinite possibilities, that's exactly it, infinite possibilities. It is infinite possibilities, and, it, and we want to impress on people, we don't, people say specials, and the term specials down quite a lot. The, 
a tool that we make for a specific customer would be their customer's tool. Now most, you know, most people make like a DIN standard tool. Sometimes DIN standards are not quite enough. So on like a 12 millimeter tool, you've got 26 millimeters of flutes. If you want a machine 30 millimeters deep, then you go for the special, or you you have the uh, the 50 millimeter flute length. What we would then do is make you a tool with say a 32 millimeter flute, so it's perfectly designed for the job you're looking for it to do. And we can turn these tools around usually within two weeks. We can turn them around within one week if necessary. And if push comes to shove and you want an uncoated tool, we can pretty much do a 24-hour service at a premium.